You're like you're a little chilly around this fire. Yeah, I'm good. I'm from Montana. I've, I've been backpacking. I've been hiking. I've been on 20 mile trips, 30 mile trips, 10 mile trips, one mile trips. Once I actually develop a pretty sizable blister. Since you are the uh, foot care expert, I figured I'll ask you, has that ever happened to you? And if it has, what you do about it? Or how do you prevent that from happening? I've really, honestly, not ever really had a blister in my life, in my adult life. I've been hiking for 40 plus. Come on, Peter. 50 plus years. And um, so, yeah, I've been Seriously? out. No, oh, really, seriously, you know, there's, there's. What's your secret, man? But it, it's not really a secret. It's right. just taking care of your feet. If you have a shoe that fits you properly, right on. That's the first best thing to keep you from getting blisters. Right on. But then, you know, there's a lot of other little things too that people don't really think about, you know, and it's it's actually taking care of your feet. I've fit a lot of folks, and I've seen some really gnarly, nasty feet. Right on. You know, <laughs> uh, and sometimes, you know, people really need to take care of those feet, right and they'd be a lot better. Simple little things like cutting your toenails. Oh. You know, that will you know, reduce the, just the movement in the end of the shoe, ripping up your sock, ripping up the shoe from the mm. inside. And, and it'll just help your, your toes not to be banging the end of the, the shoe box. I, I, I get a nice little pedicure every now and again, you yeah. know, just cause my feet, you know, tend to be a bit gnarly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you know, clean your feet, right you on. know, clip those toenails, get a pair of wool socks that are fitted, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. fit your feet, mm -hmm. not big, loose, baggy socks. Why would I wear wool in the summertime? Right. You know, it's hot, I'm right. gonna put wool, it's crazy. But, you know, wool actually will keep you cooler in the summer, mm. and it'll keep you warmer in the winter. Wool wicks the moisture off of your foot, right. and it allows it to disperse to the outside of the sock and to get out of the shoe. So let me get this straight. Uh, the best way to not to get blisters on your feet is number one, is to take care of your feet. Sure. And number two, making sure you have the right type footwear. Absolutely. Uh, make sure they're, me they're measured well. Right, and it doesn't move and, and it doesn't slip. Move yep. And slip away. And number three is to uh, make sure you uh, put a little soul in your step. Put a little soul in your step. Put a little soul in your step. There goes my man Peter. Peter. What's happening, brother? Let me show you what I got here. Man, so, water pool. So this is a, 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 a shoe that's like in the process of being done. Right on. Um, Let's not be showing all our secrets. Yeah, there we go. Okay, all right, brother. So <laughs> this here is what's keeping your foot dry. This right on. Little, this little booty here. Okay. It is a porous, breathable material. It allows your sweat to come out. It keeps water from going in. That's actually pretty slick, man. Right? So one of the issues is, though, you know, like your little yellow raincoat you know that kept you dry right right um but now you're gonna put a leather bike jacket over the top of it right on right so in a hot summer day that's gonna get a little sweaty in there so you really need to take care of it right on uh if you don't take care of it you're gonna over sweat the boot and then you're gonna feel like the boots leaking right on first thing you want to do is wear a wool sock number one wool sock and you want the wool sock to come up over the collar of your shoe so that that moisture can actually get out of the boot. That's number okay, one. That's number one. Number two. Number two, you want to keep the upper of the boot really clean. Um, clean. Keep it clean. So, so fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> so after your, after your hike and you're all dirty and muddy, get out there and you know mess up the boot real good. Right. When you get home, give it a little care. Wash it off, a little light brush and a little soap. You know, give it just a little little cleaning, rinse it off, let take it dry. Take care of your boots, man. Your Don't, boots will take care of you, too. That's right. Don't stick the boots in the sun, either. You mm. know, let them just dry, put some paper in it, put a little fan on it, let it let it dry up. Right. The last thing is, maybe once every 100 miles or every couple of weeks, you want to use a DWR. Right. A DWR is a durable water repellency. Okay. Okay. Durable water repellency is a chemical that is added to the, to the outside of the boot. Uh, we like to use a product called Nick Wax. Okay. Nick Wax is really good. It bonds very well with the material and it'll help repel water from saturating the leather. Well, that being said, so this, this is really good information. Here, you know, at Black Folks Camp 2, we're all about getting information, getting mo folks more educated about the outdoors, no matter your, your age, your race, or your gender. We want folks to be educated about that. So if you can, Peter, just give us the top three things. One, number one. Number one, wear a wool sock. All right, number two. Number two, uh, keep your boots clean. Woo. 
And number three. Uh, periodically add some DWR, durable water repellency. And now you know how to take care of your boots so you can enjoy the outdoors more. Woo. Thank you, bro. I appreciate All that. Right. Mm. right on.